Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, Jay Ham, and today I'll show y'all the bubble reptile skin technique. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hold you wanna see us grow, you gotta reach the soul. So when the time is right, the vibe is right, then I just might find a wife and buy the ice that's ride or die and down for life. You can't all right, y'all, let me turn this thing on and let's get, get, get it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is drill off my um, gel polish that I had on previously. And whoops, what do you know? I still have some leaves up there from the fall. I'm just going to drill these all the way down. All right, so I'll be using three different types of drill bits. The second one will focus on the cuticle area. It needs to be parallel to the cuticles when using it. Before I use my third drill bit, I'm going to go ahead and shape my nails um, in the way that I would like them to be shaped. Now I know everyone, you know, has their own order of what they do, but this is just what I decided to do next. All right, so after I'm done filing my nails, I will use my sanding drill bit. Um, it's an electric file still. And y'all, I've had this Manny Pro forever. Literally, it's probably going on like seven years now. So I'm not really applying a lot of pressure when I'm using this drill bit. I am just trying to um, etch the nail, remove any shiny parts from it. So I'm really going over my nail bed very lightly with this. After I'm done etching my nail, I use an alcohol pad to cleanse it. And I swear by this protein bonding agent, it is everything. I apply two coats before I put on anything. Okay, so lately I have been trying to find, you know, new techniques to improve my services. So recently I've been testing on myself using this base coat, um, the Sandy base coat, before I actually put on my building gel. Y'all bear with me, I'm still trying to figure out these angles, but you know, once you apply any product, you need to clean it up. So now we're about to get into this CND building gel. Um, I like to start at the cuticle when I'm doing my nails this short and then just gently bring it down. You're going to want to, like this is sped up, so you're going to want to really, you know, be gentle with the gel or else you'll create air bubbles in your nails. So everyone has their own techniques. If you have any tips, feel free to leave it in the comment area. After curing for 30 seconds and removing that tacky layer, I'm now going to file and shape my nails. All right now, we getting somewhere. All right girls, now that we are done fouling, we are going to buff it out, buff it out, buff it out, buff it out. So I like to use the C&D bonding agent as well before I put on gel polish. I do about two coats of this as well. And blood out, we have this beautiful black polish by Orly and I did about two coats. Now I'm about to use my No Wipe by Poochie's. Um, this is a top coat. I'm going to cure this. Um, yeah. I'm sitting here talking to y'all like y'all at my house and we having a conversation. But yeah, I'm about to apply this to all my nails and put it in my lamp. And then bam, here is also another product by Poochie. It is her Chrome. I can't remember the name, but if you go to her website, and I will try my best to provide a link below um, in the description area. Now, who put me on the Poochie was my old nail mentor. She's the one that even took me under her wing. Her name is Minx Diva. You can find her on here as well. She is legit as hell. I kind of like I'm doing my nails. No, I feel it kind of what do you do? What do you mean? What? How do I answer that? What, 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 do you, what kind of what do you do? Um, I don't know, Stinky. What kind of work, what do, kind you of do, work do you do? Um, I, I just, I just crash and I fail. Really? Yeah. And I brushed to the rocks. Okay. And then Okay, so as you can see, I am removing the um, excess chrome that got on my fingers with a non-wipe pad. I put some alcohol on it and that will clean it up. 
All right, Busted Baby. So now <laughs> what we about to do is take some more of this non-white top coat, put it over the chrome, make sure it's fully covered. All right, so I don't know how other people are making bubbles, but um, I just used the foam soap because that created enough bubbles for me. Fully submerged the nail and I would drag some of the bubbles down if I needed to so it can um, fully cover the nail. Sorry for this angle. Then you're gonna flash cure it for 10 seconds and 10 second only, honey. Then after that, you're gonna take it out, take your non-lint wipe and uh, pat that all down, pat it down. And then after that, you're gonna put it back in the lamp for a full cure and you'll be good to go, Shawty. This is just another example of me doing my pinky. I feel like that one like submerged perfectly. So I can just put it in, flash cure for 10 seconds. <laughs> then you should be good to go. Pat, 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 little boost to wipe my down. P.O.P. hold it down and blah, blah, magic, voila magic and here we have it ladies and gents bubble reptile skin nails honey it was a task but it was pretty fun i want to bring more techniques i'm trying to stay up with the latest trends to bring to my channel so if you enjoyed the video be sure to give me a good old thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe thank you for your time peace and love be blessed never stress you want to see us grow you got to reach the soul so when the time is right the vibe is right then i just might find a wife and buy the ice that's ride or die and down for life you can't